right back with author Danny Miller. Look at life as constantly moving and shifting and ebbing and flowing. Is when we're trying to control too much, we're trying to hold on to something that's that's, that's yeah. moving. It's like a conveyor belt. If you grab onto a fast moving conveyor belt, you're going to get burned or you're going to be dragged along. Right. And, and same with with control. It, it's like. The intensity of, of what I call the excessive control actions puts blinders on us. You wrote a book, Investing in Real Estate, and you started a class, and wasn't that enough for you? Well, you know, that's a really good question. <laughs> wasn't that enough? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> Not for we controllers. In other words, we're, we're ingrained with this, with this drive, this, this discipline, wanting to really to succeed, yeah. and we set goals. And what happens, like, like in my case, you know, I was successful at an early age. Right. I really was. It's, when you got out of UCLA, you were, that's when you were investing and practicing. I was practicing. investing. I had celebrities entrusting money to me yeah, to invest. Right. And, but I didn't feel successful inside. Internally, in the core, I wasn't content. But why do people want to control? I mean, The short answer <laughs> is because they think they need to. They think they need to because we are raised, you know, from the time we're young children in a, in a control-driven society. Our parents, who could be more controlling than our parents, right? Yeah, well, I mean, because be they want you to be... Of course, yeah, I mean, it could be good, but it's still like, as a kid, is like our, my life's being dictated to me. At school, similar right. things, e even in, in church, politics, everything. So that's all we know. So we think it works. We think it works. And it's very deeply ingrained and it's hard to break that pattern. It's a very no. difficult process yeah. in letting go. And it, it, it starts with become, becoming aware that you're a controller. I don't think people realize how much they do control. Is the fundamental parental challenge yes. is to fulfill our responsibility as parents to instill good moral values, ethics, manners, right. encourage we education, try. right? We, we yeah. all try. But we, to do that without going over to where we're over managing our children's lives because mm -hmm. once we start over managing their lives we're actually hurting them we're not allowing them to have life's experience the hard knocks things that they can learn from going forward i know but we're always so afraid to let them do those hard knocks because yes. we can see it yes and so that's why <laughs> i write extensively about boy you're just great you're asking me all these questions is fear fear oh, fear. fear and right. what could be more fearful than what parental fear Exactly. It's so strong. So we need to address those fears. We need to find ways to process those fears. And what you find and what I found is the reality, the objective facts over here, and we have our emotions here. And we need to separate the two because these emotions script these terrible horror stories, right. especially regarding our children. Right. So if we can separate those and process those, it really brings a better balance and we can see Okay, so she got a C on her test. Right. Is the world coming to the end? Well, how, how, and do we really uh, ad address this situation? Uh, I, one is I call decontrol cues. You know, during the day when, you, when you, all of a sudden you feel like you're in an impasse or conflict, let go, Danny. Release it. Surrender to it. And like what kind of situation? It could, it could be uh, a, a business, a, a, an argument with your child or a mate. It could, it, it could be whatever the situation, when you feel dis-ease, try to step back and say, let it go. Take a break. Go on to something else. That, that, that's a real simple one. Another one that's probably more significant is, is what I call moderate our expectations. We tend to expect too much from people and things. And when you do, you're compelled to try to force those results by, by the control action. So be realistic uh, on your expectations. Because we expect someone to do what we could do. Or See, we that's a problem. Or, or what we want them to do. Or what, or what we want we them to do. Or what we feel they should do. Expect them to do. Or, or what might be better <laughs> for them. <laughs> that's right. You've got all the things those are all the talking things. about. But the bottom line, the bottom line, and I've learned this, and this is a theme of the book throughout, is we cannot in any meaningful way really change or control others. We really can't. When we let go of control, it frees life's natural currents. Okay? And it's those currents that if we can sort of engage those in a non-resisting manner, it can take us many nice places.